I just took a lot of time to like be personally like okay. Like I was pretty sad all of 2022 and I'm finally at the point where I'm like way past that and I'm actually like super happy and I feel motivated to like start getting back into doing stuff. Sienna Mae Gomez, a once rising TikTok star lauded by her audience for her body positive message, was then subsequently excommunicated from the spotlight after essay accusations arose from her former collaborator, Jack Wright. After a string of messy and inappropriate posts and non-apologies, she nearly disappeared from the spotlight altogether. But she's still out there, somewhere. So what has happened to Sienna since the beginning of 2022? Before we dive into this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and it would help me out a lot if you could do that. Okay, let's get started. In the same year for cancellation, Sienna quickly returned to her usual online activities in an effort to promote her new swimwear line, Sienna Swim, a brand that aims to honor femininity in all its forms. Launched in mid-2022, Sienna began to promote her new line through social media, showcasing how she started working on her own swimwear during the start of quarantine and now showing how it's finally become a reality. Despite just recently coming off a pretty terrible situation, the comments weren't as bad as most people would have expected. A few comments critiquing her like this one here, where a user asserts that she needs the money to pay her lawyer somehow. Other users mostly had things to say about how this new brand didn't seem to be inclusive enough for all bodies. Throughout the next few years, it seems like she had a lot of success with the swim line and continued promoting it across her TikTok and IG. She hasn't posted anything to her YouTube channel in over a year. Randomly, a question that I get asked all of the time, especially in person, is what is your shaving routine? At the end of 2023, Sienna said that the one question she gets asked all the time is what is her shaving routine? Which I guess is an understandable question. The girl literally lives in Hawaii and almost all of her posts include her in a bikini. With that, she extended her swimwear line to include razors and launched Smooth. According to various posts online, the razor company is allegedly outselling her swimsuits. I can personally totally believe this because her swimwear sells for over $100 a piece. And when I say piece, I mean you can buy tops and bottoms separately for over $100 combined. Her complete smooth kit, which includes the razor, stainless steel blades, Dr. Bronner's liquid soap, a jar of virgin coconut oil, and a branded box for all these items can be bought together for $42. Outside of complaints about pricing and some pieces that offer little to no coverage, it seems like Sienna's business ventures are doing pretty well. Late last year, she had a showcase of her line at Miami Swim Week and just a few months ago, Sienna Swim was covered in Sports Illustrated. Ultimately, Sienna's story is complicated, and I certainly don't want to make a puff piece about her. I'm not trying to rehabilitate her image by any means. I just wanted to lay out some of the things that she's been doing since all the trouble got stirred up. I'm sure she wants to just move on with her life. She has made a conscious effort to not share a lot of personal information anymore online. You've been teasing a lot on social media that you do have someone special in your life, but you've chosen to keep his identity private. He will be revealed, but in a very certain way. I think keeping his identity private, it wasn't really something that we were like, we need to hide you. It was just kind of like, I have had like public relationships before kind of thing. And I just think it really plays into how the relationship actually, like, is. And even though I'm sure some people hate to see her win, it does seem like she is having quite some success with this business venture. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other video ideas you'd like to see me cover, please comment down below. We are riding strong for that thousand subscriber mark. And like this video, please. And thank you. See you next time.